I am not a very vulnerable person. Um, I'm an Aquarius, so maybe it's in my nature. <laughs> but uh, I, I'm very emotionally intimate with my friends. I don't have a problem necessarily with like being open about my life. Uh, but I don't like release very often. Um, I'm not a big crier. I have a lot of emotion and there's so many, so many times where I have the, the feeling of wanting to cry, but like the tears don't work. They don't come down. <laughs> the tears stay in my eyes. They do not leave them. Except in movies. I will bawl my eyes out at almost every movie. And I think it's probably because it's a very immersive in a movie theater, at least to me. Not necessarily overwhelming, but immersive, you know. It's a big screen, it's dark, and the music's loud, you can't hear anything. Uh, you can't hear people around you and stuff. But when it comes to, like, my personal life, I'm, I'm not a big crier. I want to be. That'd be great. Like, all of my emotional turmoil would be solved. I could cry it out. It'd be great. But it's not really a thing that happens. Uh, and as weird as it is, I guess, to admit I made myself that way, uh... I got in trouble one time as a kid, and I was crying, and I, I I remember just being like, you're never gonna cry like this again in front of other people, and I haven't. I have not been emotionally open in that sort of way for a long time, and in the last year, and then in this year especially, my main goal for myself is to work on opening up. Um, it's really difficult because, you know, it's going through years and years of emotional walls and being very guarded about who I let in to see all of my emotions. I think perhaps part of my issue is that uh, I feel so much, like I feel so many things and I feel them so intensely. It's like a whirlwind and I'm scared to share that with other people, I guess, because it can be scary to be in the middle of that whirlwind, you know? But, um... It's a New Year's goal, so... I wanted to... make a video about opening up. It's really important to let yourself be open and be vulnerable and like, let yourself express your emotions around your loved ones. I mean, I'm not saying that you should go around cafes and just let yourself just friggin' ball out in a coffee shop. Um, I don't really think that'd be the best idea. If you want to, I mean, more power to you, I guess, but... It's so vital to so many aspects of, of, of your inner mental health and emotional well-being to just get those feelings out, you know, purge those negative thoughts out through your tears. You know, even if it's a few silent little drops, it's, it's something. If it's, you know, loud, uncontrollable sobs, Sometimes it really just be that way. 
I really felt like it was important that I make a video on this. Cause it's, oh god damn it. Sexy. We're back in business. Um, where was I? Alrighty. Um, yeah. Okay. I really, really, really wanted to make a video on being open and being emotionally vulnerable because it's so incredibly important for your emotional health, your emotional well-being, and your mental well-being, and you know, even your physical well-being. Like, that sounds like a reach, but um, I think I read somewhere that uh, like when you cry, you it's a way to de-stress, like you're releasing the stress hormones, and um, I'm sure we all know by now that having lots of stress in your system, being very stressed, literally does start to take a toll on your literal physical health. Like, being stressed hurts your body, literally. And it's really important to get those tears flowing. They gotta go somewhere, so. They might as well go out, you know? Because there's nothing shameful about that. I've never thought there was anything shameful about crying. Um, I mean, I don't think that it's shameful when other people cry. I mean, sometimes when people, like, physically, like, like, sob over really small things all the time, I don't necessarily think it's shameful, I'm just kind of like, well, come on, I mean, like, is this necessary? Um, but I think perhaps that's because in those situations, I always had to clean up the mess, so, hmm. you know, yeah, no, I take back my statement, I think it was really just because I always had to clean up the mess, but, um, there's nothing wrong with crying. Uh, you know, it's a natural response to different parts of life. Happy crying, thankful crying, sad crying, stressed crying, mad crying. Um, it's all crying. I used to only cry when I was really, really frustrated and really, like, at my wit's end. Uh, I'd cry about math a lot as a kid like uh, getting into algebra. Oh yeah, algebra was a real tearjerker. Uh, but now I find myself crying because an animal got rescued and because a movie is just so good or because something really sad or really wonderful happened in a movie. Um, in the movie Interstellar, uh, the first time I went to see it in theaters, um, you know the scene where Cooper gets back on the ship after the big wave planet? That scene. When he opened those messages, like, I full on sobbed, like, I had to cover my mouth. I almost left the theater because I was starting to be really, really loud. I, I lost it. I was full on, like, I cried my makeup off because there was just so much emotion in that scene. I, I lost it. And then I saw Interstellar like a week or two later again in the theater and I lost it again. And then I saw it again in the theater and I lost it again. And then I saw it two more times at home on the couch and I cried. Not as many tears, it gradually started to stop. Uh, but, like, I think that was a real, like, wow. 
I've had so many tears locked in my system for so many years. They're all coming out right now. Um, so, yeah, I wanted to share with you. It's really important to let yourself cry, to let yourself be vulnerable, to trust in your friends and your loved ones enough to share the intimate parts of yourself with. Because I don't think that we're all meant to hold all that stuff in. There's nothing wrong with um, letting it out, you know? Thank you for tuning in. I hope that your journey with becoming more open is an easy one. Or at least significant one because it really does a lot of wonders for you as a person I think from one person on this journey to another here's to our sensitivity and here's to us showing that to other people with reckless abandon let those tears fall, baby. I will see you later.